back on the trusty trestle. We're going to be fishing with a, what I call an old school color right here. This is one of the most famous colors that this lake's ever seen. I'll give you some of the history on the old avocado catching beautiful trout like this right here. Alright, avocado, back when I was growing up, that was the numero uno on the, the lure to use when I was learning how to fish these bridges. Back when I was a kid, just to give you a little history of this lake, there was two trout caught over 10 pounds within the same week, one by Captain Dudley, one by Terry Guggins. And to my recollection and my knowledge, both were caught on this exact color. This avocado, which is like a motor oil style color. Now granted, you know, Matrix wasn't even around then. Dudley obviously caught his on a deadly Dudley. Terry caught his on a, a hybrid flurry, but it was on this color pattern right there, which is like a motor oil, motor oil style color with some black and red flake in it. And avocado has been around the fishing industry for a long, long, long time. And what a lot of anglers that taught me how to fish, what they used to say, on why speckled trout like the color avocado is because the big trout around here used to love feeding on oyster worms. Now, I don't have too much knowledge on that, but what I do know is back in that day when we were catching all those big trout on avocado lures that they were really hard to find. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that head. Shake that head. Come on up here. Whoa, pups. Whoa, pups. On that trusty avocado. Old school color. Catch a new school fish. come over here and check my favorite place in the world of fish the old highway 11 those uh 10 pounders that we discussed that were caught many couple decades ago in the same week on avocado this is the bridge they were caught on 10 pound trout do they live on here anymore no but if you're looking for a big trout this is where I recommend the fish in the winter in Lake Pontchartrain. This is your best shot. We caught a pretty pretty good one earlier. I didn't have the camera rolling. I just wanted to come over here and check it. Caught a couple trout over here. Caught one about four pounds earlier while I was over here. And I'm gonna show you how to fish it. Then we're gonna go ahead and go right back over to the trestle. All right, whenever you fish an 11, you want to get that lure under the bridge like so and you want to drag it right down the bridge pile. Now this is a much more complex bridge to fish. A lot more technical casting accuracy is important. The angles of your presentation. You're going to find your bites are going to come from a similar low area over and over and over again where the trestle, you kind of just back the boat up off the bridge, throw at it, and the bites can be kind of sporadic. That felt like a sporadic bite right there. But, and you got to start, you got to try to pattern these fish when you're over here. So you want to fish the right side of the poles, the left side, and right there, I'm going to throw it up underneath on the left side. And no matter what side I'm on, I want to drag it right down the bridge. Now what you got to pay attention to is are the fish up on the last pilot? Are they on the first pilot? Are they off the bridge a little bit? Left side, 
Oh, right side. That one would sell right there. I'm gonna make a middle note. Left side at the pilot closest to me. And look, this is a hammer. This is what you look for when you're fishing this bridge right here. That's the size of the fish. Most of the time, if you're looking for a, a class of fish that's a little bit bigger, this is where you come. I don't know why, but my whole life, the bigger fish that I've ever caught, they come from this bridge right here. I mean, look at that stud right there, guys. It's a totally awesome fish. Get a good look at that pretty girl right there. And let's go ahead and release this one. Don't want to put too much pressure on her gills. Swim off to sea. There you go, big girl. That's what I like to do with the big ones. Let them go. Hopefully we get a bunch of six, seven, eight, nine pounders again one day like I grew up fishing this bridge. But let's finish off this video back on the trestle and uh, see if we can close it out over there. right on the bridge. I never even jigged it. Straight down the pole. When I whipped it up the first time, there he was. Big, beautiful trout. Look at that. Look at that puppy. Look at that head, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're looking for. Simple. Give my break. Look at that. Choked it. Right in the roof. That's a beautiful fish on the old school avocado. Half ounce golden eye. Gotta love it out here in the lake in the winter time. These big trout, they stay on these bridges all throughout the winter as long as it doesn't get too, too cold. The reason why you want to cast with the current most of the time because it makes the bait look much more natural when you're working it back with the current rather than against it. I'm not saying against it doesn't work, but especially with a jig head when you're trying to get that bait to get back down to the bottom time after time, if it's going with the current, it's just gonna be a lot easier for that lure to keep contact with the bottom. It look natural, it's a nice natural presentation on the way back to the boat. saw me pop the rod just because there's a little cross beam there he is there's a cross beam that connects the first two pylons in a bridge and I threw so tight I could feel that I was kind of snagged on it so I just bumped my rod tip and it came off luckily then I let it go to the bottom and this little bugler got a hold of it yeah these puppies they love when them fish are biting Puppies love when the fish are biting. The avocado doing work. Nice little trout. Nice little trout. Go ahead and end it on this one, guys. Nice, quick, easy episode right here. We've already put out a few on the trestle. Just wanted to show you guys how effective an old school color is. Some of them things that hadn't came out your tackle box in years, don't write them off, guys. If something worked years and years ago, it still works today. We, we absolutely love Avocado Matrix. This is uh, one of our slower sellers. I don't, like I said, this color has yielded two 10 pound plus trout in this lake and they were both caught the same year. So we absolutely had to make this color pattern when we made Matrix Shad. And we'll be giving out these in your monthly subscription box. Old school avocado, absolutely 
Hall of Fame style color right there for this lake. Speckled trout love them. They still love them. Make sure to subscribe to the bait box. Get your hands on those. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out all of our bridge episodes. We're back on the trestle today. Got plenty of these out there. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And until next time, good fishing.